Well, howdy folks. Welcome to Mower Mics. Today, we're just gonna do a quick hit and show you how to add drain plugs to your riding lawnmower transmission, specifically to the tough torque transmissions that do not have drain plugs. These are for regular riders, not for zero turns. Uh, what we've got here is a K58 transmission. I'm doing the full service right now on it. It's the same build as a K46 underneath all your riding lawnmower transmissions. And this is a cool thing to do while you're working on the transmission. Now you can see right here, I have added two drain plugs. It is fantastic because you can buy these drain plugs on Amazon for about $11 to your door. So let's go ahead and do it. Now, just as a side note, I've got a whole series of videos on removing the transmission, servicing them, the long way with the filters, the short way just with the drain, installing the transmission. This is just installing the drain plugs. If you wanna see any of those other videos, <clears throat> scroll on down below and it's just pure YouTube gold. So with that, let's get to it. Yes, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you how to dr tap, drill out, and install a couple of drain plugs into the pan. What this is gonna allow us to do is that next time you gotta service this transmission, you just pull a drain plug out, you drain the old oil, you throw some new stuff in, and you don't have to break your back or break something on the mower when you remove the 30 pound transmission. So the way we do this is that, first of all, the drain plugs, look at this. I mean, Amazon's amazing. I got a pack of, I think five of them for like $11 to my door. And these are specific to the Tough Torque transmissions. What we got here is the M8 size, M8 by 1.25 thread count drain plugs uh, that are meant for the Tough Torque transmissions. The larger transmissions are M10s, but for your little guys like this, M8 are perfect. And what is super cool is that these transmission pans are already set up to have a drain plug installed. You see right there, you can see a couple of gussets right there and then right there. Now we know these are drain plugs. If you look on the back side here, see that? It has a little extra aluminum material in these areas for drain plugs. Now what some of these tractor manufacturers will do specifically on this transmission, like the larger John Deere X500. John Deere will go ahead and install these drain plugs, but on the X320, they did not for some reason. Now, how do we install them? Well, what we're gonna do, first we're gonna drill these holes out, and then we're gonna tap it with an M8 by 1.25 tap, which is super easy on this because it is aluminum, makes this a breeze. So. First thing you can do, you can get your sweet yellow DeWalt with a 17 by 64 size drill bit. This is very, very important to do the right size because that's the size you need to tap the threads. And you can always pull it up online to conform or you can be like me and just drill a hole in wood, tap the wood and see if it works. So what I'm gonna do first, we're gonna go down in here. Look at that. And drill her out. All right, so you can see we got our hole there. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and flip it upside down and we're gonna tap her out. Now just take your time with this and go really slow because you wanna make sure it taps right in the middle of that hole. And something else that really helps is to get some WD-40 to lube it up as you tap her. So we're gonna get a little WD-40. Let's see, I've never tapped anything live on TV. But, oh my gosh, really? And then you drop out your little bar, complete pain in the butt. Now, when it comes to taps, I have gone through a lot of crappy taps and I have come to figure out the tungsten coated taps are the best, they don't go dull. So I'll put a link down below to the drill bit and the taps I use. So what you do, you tap it, tap it, tap it. Come on. I can see once it starts loosening up, I mean, you pretty much got it at that point. You're not, you're not going too deep with this. Let's see if I can go ahead. There you go. And once you get it out, you really want to clean out the hole 
Like I'll just do a little WD on there. But man, those are some good, good looking threads. We've just tapped in that sucker. If you see right there, it looks like it's brand new. It is always nice to tap aluminum. And then I just see the drain plug here. It has a little rubber grommet on it, so it is actually meant to hold fluids. All right, let's see. Got my little tap job in. Oh yeah, it's going in there like butter. Well, we got we got to clean out the tap hole there. But what this is gonna allow us to do? So I'm gonna put that in there, and then the other one is gonna be right there. Now the reason that you need two holes is that when you look at the transmission they have two different compartments that are somewhat sealed from each other this is your your gears over here like your differential and then your hydrostatic gear pump and i can see there's going to be some gasket material between which we're all right this final shot i just want to show off my new fancy oil drain as you can see they look damn professional we got one right there Got the other one right there. You can see where the boss is right there. I mean, these, these drains were always meant to go there in the first place. Now, one thing you'll notice is that uh, those drain plugs look like all the other bolts underneath that transmission. There's about 50 of them. So what I've done, I went ahead and took a paint marker and just put a little dot of paint on each of the drain plugs. That way I'm not undoing the actual transmission plugs when we change the oil. So I hope that helped. If you have any other concerns or want to see anything else, on one of these tough torque transmissions. I'm gonna list all the videos down below from a full service to a quick service to install to removal. We had a lot of fun with this bad boy. So with that, more mics out. I'll catch you next time.